Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 4. Uh, in the last episode was the kind of... Well, the thing that stood out the most in the episode was basically the <laughs> the argument uh, between Abiko Sensei and Yoriko Sensei, um, which was, gotta say, quite funny. Um, them just like having it out at each other and just kind of getting all their true feelings out. It was necessary. Abiko needed to hear it. Um, I like the kind of ending there where she kind of... Yoriko basically made her like understand that you need help. You can't do all this on your, your own. You're going to kill yourself by kind of doing that from without assistance or outside help or, you know, um, and hopefully that kind of helped sway her idea of hopefully maybe kind of still working on the script, but maybe having Goa there as well. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then kind of icing on the cake, Aqua got her a ticket to the uh, ping pong stage play. So I guess she gets to see what a real stage play is like, what she's kind of got to aim for if she wants to do the script herself. But also she gets to see a fantastic kind of well-renowned play, which was written by Goa-san. So yeah, looking forward to this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Is she standing up? Is it about to start or was she late? Oh wow, they noticed, wow. So you enjoyed it, yeah? You still want to write the script by yourself? Come on, say what you need to say. Stop kissing ass. A heart to heart, okay. Yeah. She looks kind of miffed about what she's saying at the moment. Yeah, absolutely not. She needs to hear this. She really does. Damn. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, let her know. Yes, please meet them halfway. Work with him if you have to. She says a professional though. But she still mean goer? Okay, so they are going to work on it together. Got it. Makes sense. It's probably going to be a bit a tough task because she's going to be like, no, no, we need this. It's not going to be easy for Goa. Yeah, you definitely need the mediator there. <laughs> One major point of concern? Okay. She's given fair reason for this. This is what they should have done at first. Oh my god. Yes, giving good ideas. Let's go, Goa. Yes, you do. It's, it's good that she's aware of this now. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad that she's kind of changed her kind of tune about this. They're really cutting a lot here. This seems to be going too well. Why is he not happy with the situation? What have they done? Have they cut too much? Oh, what is it? The script isn't long enough. Or maybe it's just too eccentric. Yeah. If they can do it, it's going to be one hell of a play. 
outrageous, yeah. Act, act it, bro. Act it. It's not going to be easy. Oh, that's nice, at least. Damn, they're already on it. I can't wait to see this play. Oh, what does Aqua feel about it? Uh, he's going to struggle as well. Wait, Aqua might struggle with this? I can see the exact character he's trying to play. <laughs> Damn the eyes she's given off. She looks like she's dying. Oh shit, Aqua. Yeah, you kind of got to go overboard with it. Don't baby him. That's probably not what he wants. True. He is always like a, a neutral person. That's true. Yeah. But there was a massive gap between you being little children and now teenagers, so... <laughs> exactly, yeah. If you really want to cry, maybe you should be thinking about something else. Jesus. Oh my god. That's a crazy way to think about it. I'm sure it works, but in Aqua's situation, oof. I know she doesn't know, but that's fucked up. Basically, for any kind of emotion, he's just got to think of it back to a time with uh, I. I actually can't wait to see Aqua acting his ass off now. He's thinking back to all these happy moments, trying to find the right one. Oh, did thinking of his sister make him happy? Oh, what the fuck? You've still got the mission. Oh, God. He's not allowed to enjoy his life because he's still got this pounding in the back of his head. Jeez, man. Seeing that again. Yeah, definitely. God, with all like that, with everything that's going on, like the idol stuff, the play stuff, you forget that it, this dude's main mission is to find and kill his father. So, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. I wonder how uh, Ruby feels about the whole situation. Maybe she has like the same inner kind of quest that uh, Aqua does as well. It'd be interesting to see how she thinks about it from when she was a child. Did something like this happen to him before? Is he going to tell her about I? Indeed. I guess he's not going to go into the full extent of what happened. Oh god. Imagine having to dream about this. I know he was an adult in a child's mind, but that in a child's body is so fucked up. Oh shit. Is she going to figure it out? Oh, she's figuring it out. Damn, she's really in depth about this. Yeah. Bro, she's intelligent. Maybe she's going to help him find his find his father. Wait, 
What if it's true? Well, it, it unfortunately is. Oh, she's in eye mode. I'm glad she's here for him. She's like a ride or die for him. Oh, he's got like folders about them on his desktop. What's that about? Right, so that was Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 4. That was a wild episode there. Um, I can't believe... Well, I actually can believe Akane. We've seen her kind of ability to research, borderline stalk, borderline become characters, uh, a character before. And that's how she's kind of taken on this role as I to kind of help get closer to Aqua. Um, I'm not saying that's a little messed up. I'm not saying that's not a little messed up, but I like Akane's character and I think she really is there for Aqua, regardless of what he needs. And um, not that she's going to say that she's figured out to him, because I don't think that's what she'd do. She hasn't said it there when she could have. But she's kind of, she's put all the pieces together. So um, she'd probably figure out that he's looking for his father, um, possibly. But uh, yeah, overall, a very good episode. God, as soon as Kana said to Aqua, like, how would you be, how would you feel if your mom died? That was like, oof. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a good way to bring out tears and get the emotions out in acting, like thinking about something sad, but it had to be that that made it, and it made him rethink of his past as well. Oh my God. Oh, I feel like Kana would, would feel so bad about herself um, if she ever found this out. Uh, for saying that but um yeah overall a very good episode and i'm definitely looking forward to the next i'm also glad as well on the flip side uh goa and abiko were managed managed to work it out and make a very good script apparently but it's just uh, the actors have got to go in now uh with the remaining time that they have to rehearse but yeah anyway guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today have a nice rest of your day and peace out